Welcome to the IntelliLearn video library, calculations involving infusion rates in drops per minute with a drop factor of 60 drops per mil. Examples, part one. The formula to calculate the infusion rate in drops per minute to deliver to the patient, if the drop factor is 60 drops per mil, is a volume of IV fluid that the patient must receive, expressed in mils, divided by the time over which the infusion must run. This is called the rate and will be expressed in hours or minutes. In this example, we will consider a time in hours, multiplied by the drop factor divided by 60 minutes per hour. Let's now replace each of these quantities with their actual values by reading the IV fluid order. The volume of IV fluid to infuse can be read directly from the IV fluid order. In this case, it is 1000 mils. The time over which the infusion should run is also written on the IV fluid order in the field called rate. In this case, it is eight hours. The drop factor is printed on the packaging the infusion line comes in. In this case, it is 60 drops per mil. If you consider the second fraction, 60 over 60 will cancel to one over one. The units of mils will cancel and so will the units of hours, leaving a final unit of drops per minute. Multiplying by one over one does not change the value of the first fraction and so you can remove this second fraction entirely from the formula. If you look closely, you should be able to see that the formula for the infusion rate in drops per minute is now actually the same as a formula for the infusion rate in mils per hour. The only difference is the units you end up with. In conclusion, if the drop factor is 60 drops per mil, the infusion rate in drops per minute is equal to the infusion rate in mils per hour. Bearing this in mind, to perform the calculation with a calculator, enter 1000 divided by eight and then press equals. The calculator will display an answer of 125. The infusion rate should be set to 125 drops per minute. To perform the calculation without a calculator, start by canceling 1000 over eight. Since they are both even numbers, you can apply the two rule and divide both numbers by two, giving 500 over four which is 500 divided by four, and using short division to perform this calculation, you should arrive at an answer of 125. The infusion rate should be set to 125 drops per minute. The full working for the canceling of units in these two examples on this page hasn't been shown. If you want to better understand how a unit of drops per minute is arrived at, please go back to the example on the first page.